This video will show you how to download, install, license and open SPSS version 25 on a Windows computer. When you've placed your order and received the email from Hearn Software, you'll be directed to a page like this where you can watch a video with step-by-step -step installation instructions and also select the version of SPSS you need to download. There are options for both Mac and Windows. This video is for Windows users. There's a separate video if you have a Mac. Firstly, you need to know if your Windows machine is 32-bit or 64-bit so you can download the correct installation file. If you have a 64-bit machine, select the 64-bit download. If you don't know or you have a 32-bit machine, download the 32-bit version which will run on all Windows machines. I have a 64-bit machine so I'll select the 64-bit download link. You'll be taken to a page on our website where you can enter your details and then start the download. First, enter your personal details. Select Yes, I have already purchased a software license. Agree to the terms and conditions. And then choose I'm not a robot. This is an important security check which confirms that you're a real person and not an automated robot. You may be asked to click on pictures like this. If you are, select the right ones and then click Verify. Then click Submit. I'm using the Google Chrome browser. You can see the download start in the bottom left hand corner here and you can access the download section at any time by clicking on the three horizontal lines in the top right here and choosing Downloads. The Firefox browser will ask if you want to save the file. Choose Save File and the download starts in the download section of the browser. I can return to this section at any time by clicking up here. If you're using Internet Explorer you'll be asked if you want to run or save the installation file. Choose Save and the download will start. You can see the progress at the bottom of your screen. You can access the download at any time by clicking the cog icon in the top right and selecting View Downloads. The time it takes to download depends on the speed of your internet connection. Typically it takes between 10 and 20 minutes, but it can be slower if you're on a wireless connection or are downloading at peak times. When the download has finished, go to the download section of your browser and then your downloads folder. You should now see the downloaded SPSS installation file. It's called SPSS Statistics Installer. Right click on this and choose Run as Administrator. It may ask you if you want to allow the program to make changes. If it does, choose Yes. When the installer starts, press Next, accept the terms of the license agreement and then press Next again. Select Yes to install Essentials for Python, which allows SPSS to talk to other programs. Accept the Python license agreement, then choose Next, and then Install. We've speeded up the video of the installation process. It normally takes between 5 and 10 minutes to complete. When the installation has finished, you'll see this screen. Make sure you leave this box checked, then click Finish. This will open the License Authorization Wizard where you can enter your code to license SPSS. When the License Wizard opens, the first screen will show No Licenses Found for SPSS. Click Next. Select Authorized User License, then click Next again. Enter the authorization code you were sent by Hearn Software. Copying and pasting from our email is best as it's very easy to make a mistake if you type it. Then choose Next. You should see a green authorization succeeded message. Choose Next again and then finally Finish. Once SPSS has been installed you'll need to find it on your computer before you can use it. On Windows 8 you'll need to go to the Applications folder. Hover your mouse in the bottom left hand corner of your screen until the Start menu appears. Click it 
and then choose the down arrow which will take you to the apps folder. Scroll across to the right and you'll find SPSS under I for IBM. You'll find both the main SPSS statistics program and the SPSS license authorization wizard here. If you need to start the SPSS license authorization wizard, right click it, then select run as administrator. To start the main SPSS statistics program, just double click the SPSS statistics icon and the program will open. If you're on Windows 10, you can find the program by going to the Start or Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen and then choose All Apps. Find the IBM folder and in there you'll find both the SPSS statistics program and the license authorization wizard. If you need to run the license wizard, right click on it, select More, then Run as Administrator. To run the SPSS statistics program, just double click it and the program will open. If you need support, go to www.hern.software and click on the FAQs link at the top of the screen. Select SPSS Grad Pack for Students and you can then browse our FAQs, which have answers to the most commonly asked questions about purchasing, installing and licensing SPSS. If you can't find the answer you're looking for, click here to chat to us. We're online 24 hours a day on weekdays, with reduced hours on the weekend.